Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of the Terraria Mage playthrough. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And yeah guys, in the last episode we left with a bit of a cliffhanger. In that uh, we got these bunch of butts. We've got the uh, goblin invasion going on right now. And a freaking blizzard's going on at the same time. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I love snow. I love snow, I love blizzards, I'd love to... Oh jeez, wait, they break doors now? Wait, 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 wait. Since when did goblins break doors down? Is that an expert mode thing or is that something they do in normal mode as well? I know they can open doors, but break doors? It's a slightly more interesting turn of events, it has to be said, but... Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter too much. Guys, can I just say once again... A massive, massive thank you for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. Last episode was absolutely insane. We got that flawless victory with the King's Slime. And you guys came out in your masses with the support for the episode. Reaching nearly 7,000 likes. Which is just insane, guys. Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate that support. It's, uh, it's a great motivation booster. It really, really is. Like, truly it is. So, guys, thank you. Really, that does mean a lot to me. So, guys, if we can keep it up with that kind of support, that would be beautiful. Oh, yes, it would. So, yeah, guys, here we go. Beginning with the Goblin Army. I've got to be honest, I don't feel like it's very often that I take on the Goblin Army before the Eye of Cthulhu. But, I don't know, they're weirder things have happened, I guess. So, I'll, I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. I can't complain too much about it. Oh, my goodness me. These guys are just getting absolutely freaking trounced. I mean, one of my NPCs, I'm pretty sure, died at the very, very end of the last episode. But, eh, doesn't matter too much. He can easily be replaced, right? Oh, goodness me. Come on. 62%. Oh, my goodness me. This is going to take longer than I thought, huh? All right. Well, doesn't matter too much. Guys, we've got a couple of harpoons here, which I guess is okay. Not very useful for our particular class setup right now. Nor, if I remember correctly, do I think there are any mage weapons you can get from this event. In fact, at all. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure in hard mode, you can get yourself the Shadow Flame Hex doll. But in normal... Sorry, in pre-hard mode, no. You, you basically can't get anything. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Ah, look at you lot. We're getting the spiky balls and harpoons. All of this stuff is going to be stuff we sell. Because, you know, we're not allowed to use it. This is a mage playthrough, after all. It has to be all magical weapons we use. Otherwise, we break the rules and then I risk getting absolutely hounded by people in the comments section. Oh, jeez. Okay. Can I just uh, have a second here? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, just, uh, yep, 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 and they're all dead. Cool. Coolio. You love to see it. All right, guys, we're nearly done with this thing, and then we can move on to something else. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, my goodness, I've got 10 health left. Well, I should probably be a little bit more careful now, huh? Yeah, probably a good idea, isn't it? All right, there we go. Goblin has been defeated, or the Goblin Army, more to the point, has been defeated. Beautiful. Well, there we go, my friends. We came very close to death, but... You know, we prevailed and stuff. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, what a bunch of dumbos. They think they could take me down. They got another thing coming. <laughs> ah, you love to see it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and have a quick look at what we've got going on here. So we've got ourselves a boomerang from the last episode. We've got a spear from the last episode. In addition to a couple harpoons. Uh-huh. Cool. All right, so... There is one thing you guys were very, very correctly pointing out in the comments area of the last episode. And that is the fact that we do not have the maximum amount of base mana, right? We only have 100. Now, we can actually make ourselves a couple more right now because I've got six fallen stars. There we go. But it was a very good point because uh, the base maximum amount of mana, of course, is 200. Once we get up to there, once we put this stuff on, it's going to go, like, through the freaking roof, guys. So, yeah, it's going to be very, very good. Okay, so, should we go ahead and use the jungle armor? I feel like we should, guys. I feel like it would be a good idea. In fact, what's my defense difference? Wow, that's a hefty defense difference, actually. Goes up by nine. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm kind of okay with that. All right, so what that means, guys, is we should be more than prepared. In fact, maybe even over-prepared 
for the Eye of Cthulhu, right? So it could be a cool idea to go ahead and actually do that in today's episode. Uh, we do have ourselves two suspicious looking eyes, which I'm hoping is going to be more than enough to actually take down this freaking butthead. Uh, but yeah, we've got the goblin army defeated. And the good thing about doing that is the fact you can get yourself the goblin tinkerer spawning underground, right? And what that guy does is he sells you a piece of furniture that allows you to combine accessories so you can get like super accessories in addition to being able to reforge your weapons so for example like down here we've got a keen copper axe the goblin tinker allows you to reforge it to have a chance of getting something different a different prefix so yeah could be very nice to uh, get something good on our water bolt here the old trusty reliable weapon of awesomeness so uh what kind of time is it i've got absolutely no idea I feel like we should find out real quick. Hey, we can make ourselves a clock, as far as I know. Ah. Do I have any... I'm pretty sure... I've, yeah, there we go. We've got a chain, and then we need a table and chair. Ah, there we go. Gold watch. There we go. Now we can see what time it is. And there we go. Once it gets to 7.30 p.m., that will be the time in which we can begin taking down the Eye of Cthulhu. Yeah. And potentially twice. That could be kind of awesome, right? Should we try and go for another flawless run? I mean, the Eye of Cthulhu is probably going to be more difficult in terms of going for a flawless run, right? Because he does that freaking mad dashing around the map later on, right? Hmm. Things could get very ugly very quickly. But, do you know what? All is well. All is well. So, I am well aware of the fact that we still have the meteorite to go ahead and mine. But uh, I'm feeling like we should leave the meteorite for a little bit later in the series. Potentially, uh, Skeletron. So I'm thinking of taking down the Eater of Worlds with my jungle armor as well, and then maybe upgrading to Meteorite from there on in. Uh, because I feel like from that point, it would make sense, you know? I don't know. Anyways, guys, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to try and make for myself a bunch of potions. Yes, I'm going to prepare myself, get a bunch of potions prepared, and then we are going to do this thing. Alrighty guys, so we've got about 10 seconds left until we can start this thing. We're at 220 mana, and what I'm hoping is that all of the little, uh, little mini guy- Oh! <laughs> okay! Well, okay, Terraria! You do you, baby! You can give me a free Eye of Cthulhu spawn. If you ever see that message in the bottom corner saying you feel an evil presence watching you, uh, yeah, it means you meet the criteria for having an Eye of Cthulhu spawn naturally on you. Aha! Uh -huh. Pretty cool, huh? I like that a lot. All right, so we have ourselves a free Eye of Cthulhu spawn to come in, my friends, and that's going to be freaking awesome because it means we don't have to use our own summons, which is cool. Right, in the meantime, I'm just lighting up these trees because I want to make it look a little bit more wintry. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that looking beautiful? I think it's looking good. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, we're going to do this thing, my friendos. We're going to do this thing, and we're going to embarrass the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, yes, it's going to be a great time. <laughs> I mean, maybe not necessarily for the Eye of Cthulhu, but, uh, you know, certainly for me. <laughs> Alright, guys, any second now, the Eye of Cthulhu should spawn in naturally, and then we have ourselves a bunch of buffs here. Regeneration, uh, Shine, Night Owl, Hunter. We do have ourselves the uh, the uh, food over here as well we can go ahead and consume, and that will give us some more buffs. And then we got all of these other things going on here as well, the Nature's Gift. Yeah, baby. Alright, guys, I think we're good. I think we're good. Come on, Eye of Cthulhu. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Here we go. Buffing up. Press B. Here we go. Hey, hey there, broski. 3,640 health. Oh, there goes the flawless run. Ah, oh, well, there goes that one, my friends. Well, I did say it was going to be a little bit more difficult, huh? All right, well, whatever the case, everything's fine. So the reason why I wanted all of the little guys to spawn in is because if you keep killing them, then there's a high chance that they're just going to continually give us those little mana stars back, the little regenerative mana stars. That'd be pretty cool, huh? There we go. Already going into second form, ladies and gents. Let's pick this up. And, yep, there's now about 17,000 little guys around here now. Right. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid picking up the mana stars until we actually need them. Because at this point... Oh, well, here we go. The mad stage. Oh, jeez. All right, boom. Yep, there we go. A little bit mana, more mana for the Pythonator. You'll love to see it. All right. Crazy time. Crazy time. Okay, boom. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my goodness me. Things are getting... Oh! 
Oh my god, can you imagine? Okay, so guys, the reason why I uh, reacted like that is because there is a very, very slim chance if a fallen star lands on a mob, it will literally do nearly a thousand damage in one go. Ah, that actually hurt. The uh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Calm, calm yourself there, brother. All right. Yep, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're getting kind of insane now, brother. Holy Jesus. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Are you like nearly. I can't tell how much health we've got left. It's. Can't be much now. Oh, there, oh uh, okay, yep, that'll do it. Cool! Alright, and now to do it again. Hey! Hey, guys, we got ourselves the trophy the first time. Hey, that's pretty cool. Alright, broski. Come on, then. We're gonna do this thing again. And potentially again as well. Yeah! Alright, guys, we are doing this until we can't anymore. Goodbye, I have Cthulhu number two. And hello there, I have Cthulhu number three. All right, baby, we're going to make it a clean sweep today, my friends. We've got about four minutes until it becomes daytime. Once it gets to 4.30 a.m., that is the point in which it becomes daytime. And when it becomes daytime, uh, the Eye of Cthulhu will despawn. So, yeah, we don't want that to happen. Not at all. So, let's just continue on, shall we? The more little guys this guy can spawn, the better things are going to be. So, yeah, why don't you go ahead and keep yourself going there, broski? Yeah, like that. Like that. you love to see it. Cool. All right, come on. Let's make it a clean sweep. Three out of three. Hey! Well, guys, if that doesn't deserve a like rating, I don't know what does. There we go. Three out of three eyes of Cthulhu taken out. One free spawn. Two spawns that we managed to get from chests. And, guys, we are good. Oh! Ooh, you can still do a lot of damage though, sir. Right, so what we're going to do for the remainder of this night is we're just going to go ahead and trawl the world here for some fallen stars. If we can get ourselves up to the base mana maximum of 200, that'd be brilliant because then we can have ourselves a whole bunch more mana, right? With all of the various things we have on. Ha! <laughs> smart. Smart. The Pythonator is smart sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Alright, there's another star. Come on. The more, the merrier. We've got about two minutes left to look for mana stars, or fallen stars, more to the point. And then we'll be good. Okay. All right. Let's have a bit of a hunt around her. Huh? Alrighty, guys. Well, if my calculations are correct, we need only one more fallen star. And then we can make ourselves up to the pre-hard mode maximum of two... Well, not pre-hard mode maximum. It's just the maximum amount of base mana you can have of 200, right? So, boom, boom, boom. There we go, 200, and let's just make sure we haven't got anything that's got arcane on it. Uh, no, that's that's literally it. There we go, 200 mana. No. We did not just do that. You cannot be freaking serious, dude. I've been playing too much Minecraft lately. Oh, for God's sake. Well... I, uh, I, uh, um, I may or may not have just accidentally shift-clicked all of my jungle armor into the freaking trash. Python! Hmm? Yeah, so uh, in Minecraft, you could pretty much shift-click anywhere to anything, and it would just work, but in Terraria, uh, no. No. I thought that I could shift-click my armor on in terms of, uh, equipping it, but, um... What I actually did was put it all in the bin, aside from my helmet. Well, what have we learned today, ladies and gentlemen? Python cannot go a single episode without making an enormous freaking doo-doo. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I did that. Oh my goodness me. All right, well, whatever. Let's open up everything we've got going on here. And what do we got? Armored Shield of Cthulhu. That's a pretty good thing to have on us, my friends, because now we have the ability to dash. Look at that. We just double tap a direction and we can dash, which is pretty good for avoiding an enemy's attack. Cool. All right. So uh, we've got an Eye of Cthulhu mask as well, but eh, I'm not too fussed about that. I'll be honest with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell the remainder of the stuff. Wait, where did that other Shield of Cthulhu go? Huh? Where'd it go? Am I blind? I am blind. It's right there. Okay, coolio. Right, let's go and sell those two. 
All right, and look at that. We've got 24 gold coins out of all of that, meaning we've got uh, 52 now. We also have a whole bunch of demonite ore, which is very, very good because we can make ourselves some upgraded weaponry, I guess, eventually. Uh, but for now, we can make ourselves a fisher of souls. We'll do that. I mean, we might as well do some fishing quests while we are doing the series. Why not? And then we have a very, very good axe. Ooh, very nice. I am not going to pass that up or sneer at that by any stretch of the imagination. That is a fantastic uh, little uh, prefix there, ruthless. Okay, cool. So, in terms of an end goal for today's episode, I'm thinking that maybe what we do is we go for the Goblin Tinkerer. In the meantime, I'm just going to put all of this stuff back on because, oh my god, we have th we've got 340 mana now. Holy moly. That's a lot, isn't it? All right, well, let me go and put this trophy down because, you know, we've got to proudly display all of our achievements in the world, right? <laughs> you got to celebrate the victories you get in your world, right? <laughs> all right, well, guys, we're all good to go, okay? We're all good to go. We need to go ahead and see if we can find ourselves the Goblin Tinkerer before any other NPCs spawn in, which at this point can be a variety of people. It could be the Dryad, it could be the Nurse, uh, but yeah, I want to see if we can find ourselves the Goblin Tinkerer real quick, because if we can, then we're going to be in business. Hey, and I guess we can go ahead and, you know, pick up a couple of these life crystals while we're going ahead and trying to look for the Goblin Tinkerer, right? Seems like a cool idea. All right, uh, in the meantime, uh, you guys all need to go. Bye-byes. Bye. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you see, the other cool thing about the uh, Shield of Cthulhu is you can just dash into people. I mean, technically, it says it's melee damage, right? Yeah, it says it's melee damage. But sometimes, I feel like it can't be helped. Ah, oh, the Dryad moved in. Darn it! Okay, well, whatever the case, I think we'll still be able to find the Goblin Tinkerer. Just we won't be able to move him in. I mean, not unless we move someone else out. Which, I mean, we could do that, I guess. Uh-huh. All right, come on. The Goblin Tinkerer's got to be around here somewhere. In fact, there is a much easier way of finding him, right? If I use a Hunter Potion, then I'm pretty sure he's going to show up green, right? Huh. Might be worth trying that, actually. Let me go and grab a uh, Hunter Potion out real quick. I'm pretty sure they're in here. There we go. Uh, in the meantime, those can go away. And yeah, let's head back underground, guys. And let's see if we can use the Hunter Potion to spot the Goblin Tinkerer. All right, guys, look at this. We've got ourselves a freaking massive amount of gold here. And let's do it. Wait, look at that. Loads and loads of gold for the Pythonator. And we've still got a whole bunch. Oh, jeez. We've still got a whole bunch to mine up. Go on, get out of here, you stupid slimos. No one likes you. Go on, get out. In the meantime, I'm going to take this gold because, quite frankly, I feel like I deserve it. Also, I feel like we might be able to make ourselves a ruby staff. We just need to find the rubies, man. I think it was eight we need, right? Oh! Oh, my goodness me. Okay, well, uh, that's what you get for not lighting up the caves around you, Python. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. That legitimately scared me. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we're going to need ourselves another hunter potion, aren't we? Oh, jeez. Holy moly. Let's uh, let's not have that happen again, eh? I mean, I, I would very much prefer being able to keep my pee in, you know? Jeez. All right. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Oh, you're kidding me. We need literally one ruby, and then we can get ourselves the freaking uh, ruby staff. Uh-huh. Okay, right. Let's go and sell that. We don't really need the gladiator leggings. Let's be honest here, guys. Let's just get back down there. I did see a heart crystal down there, so I'm going to go and pick that up. There was also a house. So, yeah. We definitely need to pick all that stuff up, don't we? Ouch. Hey, there we go. So, as I was saying, my friends, if you are using a hunter potion, the bound goblin, who will eventually become the goblin tinkerer, shows up green. So, he's actually very, very easy to spot. Brilliant. Okay, so all we need to do... Oh, goodness me. All we need to do now is try to protect him just a tiny bit just so we can, like, buy the stuffs we need from him. And then we'll go ahead, get back to base, and see if we can't get some stuff to go. So, rocket boots, obviously, we're going to go and buy that. We've got the Tinkerer's Workshop as well. Wow, look at all these emeralds as well. Wow, okay. So, yeah, we're going to pick all the stuff up. We need one ruby, guys. One. Seriously, game, you can't not give me one ruby that is insane you gotta give me it man it's gotta be somewhere 
Jeez. All right, boom. Yeah, chandeliers. Brilliant. You love to see it. All right, boop. Yep, a little bit of light, and there's another little bit down here. Coolio. Yeah, you love to see it. <laughs> okay, so what have we got on this one? Another cloud in the bottle. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain about it. Not at all. In fact, right. I tell you what, though. Ooh, something just activated there, and it scared me a little bit. <laughs> After that boulder trap, yeah, that did kind of scare me. It did scare me, I'm not going to lie. All right, come on. Just one singular, oh my goodness, one singular ruby. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a worm. Okay, little wormy, little wormy boy. Hmm, come on, man. There's got to be one around this somewhere. What is that? That is an amethyst pile. Dang it. Uh, hmm, there's got to be one. There needs to be one somewhere, please. Come on, man. Hey, guys, we just picked up a star statue. So these things are actually very, very good if you're playing a mage. The reason why... Hey, look, there's a slime statue as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if this was a summoner playthrough, I'd be beside myself with excitement right now. But anyways, uh, yeah, the reason why you want a star statue is because if you activate it with a uh, with a wire, it will give you little mana stars that you can use to regenerate your mana, which is actually really, really cool. Right, flare gun. Goodbye. No one likes you. You are my mortal enemy. You always have been. And quite frankly, you suck. So goodbye. Right, uh, yep, yeah, chandelier, yeah, I do love me a good chandelier, bah, 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 bah. there we go, you love to see it, okay, cool, any sign of any rubies, I mean, that sure would be nice, I mean, it's not like I've been looking around for those blasted things for like the last 20 or so minutes, ah. sometimes in Terraria, you can be looking for hours for something, and it won't give you it, and then, when you're not looking for something, it gives you everything, it's like some weird psychology thing. Like, when Terraria knows you're looking for something, oh, you bet your butt you're not going to get it. Nuh uh. It ain't going to happen, Boski. Right, I tell you what. Let's have a little bit of that. Oh, I didn't even realize I already captured one of those things. So, there we go. Up to 300 health. Beautiful. Right, any sign of the rubies? No. Of course not. Why, why, why in God's green earth would that happen? <laughs> Ah, oh, this game. This game, I love it, but good sweet lord, the luck sometimes is just, like, insanely bad. Oh, but then again, sometimes it's real good. Give me that. Yeah, all right. Rubies, though? Yeah? No? Yeah? Come on. Come on. I don't want to be in here for too much longer, man. I'm, I'm, I want to upgrade my stuff, dude. Oh, guys, I see them. And, yeah, we're pretty much nearly in hell now, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Me. Uh, stop throwing your body parts at me. That is disgusting. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness me. Right, well, here we go, my friends. We finally have the rubies. Brilliant. Okay, uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, chop all these things up real quick. Put them in our backpack, and I think we are going to get the heck out of here. Oh, look, they're even throwing a return party in my honor. Ah, what a beautiful gesture that is. <laughs> Cool. All right, guys, we're looking very good right now. Very good indeed, in fact. Okay, so got ourselves gold right there, but we have yet another 150 gold ore. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I've been going ham on collecting these things. There we go. Look at that. All right, so grab the rubies out. We're going to pop ourselves up here real quick. And, guys, check it out. Where is it? Where is it? The ruby staff. 23 magic damage only requires 5 mana. And Adept means it uses less mana. Cool. All right, so if I put that on, it only uses four mana. Wow. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty dang happy with that. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do some tinkering to finish off today's episode. Oh, yes, we are. Right, question. Uh, can I, like, put this anywhere? Uh, maybe under the stairs if I'm lucky? Yeah, I can. Okay, coolio. So check it out, guys. We can make ourselves a GPS. We've just saved ourselves a couple inventory slots. If we were to go ahead and get rid of all of this, can we make anything else? Yes, we can. There's the Spectre Boots. Allows you to run fast and allows flight. Beautiful stuff. Right, if I was to grab myself out a whole bunch of other accessories, I wonder if I could go ahead and uh, make some other upgraded stuffs. Hmm. I mean, in order to make the mana flower, we actually need another one of these, the mana potion. I'll be honest with you guys, I can't remember how to make a regular mana potion. I feel like it's been an absolute age since we've done it. 
Although, with that said, hang on a minute. Do we have a merchant here? We don't even have a regular merchant. Oh, dang blast. All right, well, uh, I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Uh, we need ourselves some glass, I think. We're going to make ourselves a glass bottle, like that. And can we do it? Ah. Uh, yeah, I swear, you used to be able to make regular mana potions. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let me, so let's have a look at the guide real quick. Do, do I require Fallen Stars to make it? Uh, super mana potions. Holy moly. That's cool. But no, that's not what I'm looking for. Dang, blast it. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to have to try and figure this out real quick. All right, guys. So check it out. The uh, traveling merchant decided to show up. He's uh, got a DPS meter, which is pretty cool. We will, of course, go ahead and purchase that. He's also selling the katana. Now, if this was a warrior playthrough, again, I would be very, very excited because this is a very, very early game auto swing sword with, by default, higher critical strike chance. Look at that. 21%, which is very, very nice compared to 30 13% or 6%. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And there's also a diamond ring there for two platinum, but it is literally just a vanity item. Like, I don't know who the heck would go and buy that, but they'd have to be mad to do so. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, it turns out you actually cannot craft lesser mana potions anymore. You used to be able to in a very, very old update, but they removed it because you can now buy them from the regular merchant, right? Uh, so, yeah, the only other place we could get it is from the dungeon. But I don't know if there's any over there. Uh, should we? Sh should we do it? Should we do it? I I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, guys. I I'm going to the dungeon. I'm going to see if there's any more naturally spawned lesser mana potions. And then if there isn't, then I guess we'll just have to, you know, you know, cut our losses and all that kind of stuff. Ah, well. All right, guys. Let's get over there real quick. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That was very lucky. Well, I'll be I'll, I'll be totally honest with you guys. I did not have any idea that there was going to be a freaking sky island here. <laughs> Usually you have to go ahead and use a gravitation potion to be able to get up to these places, but uh, that was really quite lucky. All right, shiny red balloon. You know why that's good? Because we can go ahead and combine it with the sandstorm and a bottle to get ourselves a really nice movement accessory early game. Wow. Well, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find that. Alrighty, guys. No stone left unturned. Is there another oh yeah, yeah yeah there is one oh sweet okay that's exactly what i needed because what we can do now is go ahead and grab ourselves the other one and then if we were to grab ourselves a blue mushroom uh-huh we can make that into a regular mana potion and then we combine that with the nature's gift and then we can get ourselves a nice little mage accessory. There we go. The mana flower. 8% reduced mana usage. Automatically use mana potions when needed. Beautiful. Oh my god. Menacing. Yes. That is perfect. I like that. And then like I say, you can combine the red balloon and sandstorm in a bottle. And there we go. Another epic movement accessory, guys. Ooh, dang. All right. So all we need in order to upgrade this thing even more is a horseshoe. You can find them also from the Sky Islands, so it would be nice to do that in a future episode. But for now, my friends, we've done a lot today, my friends. We've beaten bosses, we've upgraded our armor, we accidentally ridded our jungle armor like a complete freaking goofball. But you know what? It's, it doesn't matter too much. We, we've done a lot of awesome stuff today, my friends. So, we will end it right there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then you guys know what to do. The like rating is there for a reason. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. And yeah, guys, then I'll wrap it up. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.